I'm Katrina, and today I'd like to share with you some yoga stretches to alleviate back pain. We'll begin on our backs. Resting the soles of our feet on the floor and our arms alongside our bodies. We can drop our knees from one side to the other. Offering a little bit of gentle mobility to our backs, a nice massage for the hips. And a nice way to start to tune into our breathing. We can inhale as we bring the knees up. Exhale as we lower the knees to one side. Inhale to bring the knees up. Exhale to lower. And we can slow the body and slow the breath and start to bring our full attention into this simple movement, allowing our bodies to relax into the ground, allowing our minds to let go of thoughts from earlier in our day, maybe distracting thoughts about our physical discomfort. We can just soften and breathe. We'll bring the knees back to neutral and open our arms out to a T. Here again, we're gonna drop the legs to one side and keeping the feet connected at first, we're going to slide the top knee up close to the chest, send it away, bring the feet back together. We'll drop our knees to the opposite side, keeping the inner thighs close together. We're gonna slide our top knee up, curling it towards our chest, and exhale, send the feet away, drop the knees to the other side. Inhale, curl our top knee in towards the chest. Exhale, send the feet away, drop the knees to the other side. Inhale, curling our top knee in towards the chest. Exhale, sending the feet together, knees to the opposite side. We can really adjust how far we pull this top knee towards the chest, finding a comfortable stretch, not pushing past our body's limits here. We'll find where it feels good to hold and breathe. And we can send that leg away, drop to the other side. Pausing wherever we need to. And send the leg away, other side. Once more to each side, moving gently, moving slowly. We might find that something different feels good each day that we try this. So it's a really great time to listen in to what your body needs today. We'll bring the legs back to neutral. And then we'll extend our heels up towards the ceiling, flexing toes towards the face. And try to straighten our legs as much as we comfortably can. Really lengthening here through our hamstrings. We can point the toes and flex the feet. Point the toes and flex the feet. Then take an opportunity to rotate the ankles away from one another. then towards one another. Keeping the knees engaged, stretching through the backs of the legs. Relax the feet and cross our left ankle in front of our right knee. We'll drop the right shin parallel with the ground. Flex all 10 toes as we interlace hands behind the right thigh. We'll relax our head and shoulders to the ground and bring our right thigh closer to the chest, breathing nice and deeply, relaxing the face, relaxing the jaw. 
We'll inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose, inflating the belly first, then our chest and upper back before we exhale completely. We might hold static, we might rock gently side to side. Two more breaths. One more inhale. And an exhale. We'll release the bind, send our heels up towards the ceiling. A nice breath here with a flat spine. We'll cross right ankle in front of left knee, bend the left knee so our shin is parallel with the ground. We can lift to interlace our hands behind the left thigh, then lower head and shoulders back to the mat, flexing all 10 toes. We'll pull our left thigh in a little closer, breathing deeply, welcoming a stretch through the hips. We can hold static or rock gently side to side. Keeping our body relaxed. One more inhale. And an exhale. We'll release the hold and send both feet back to the ground. We'll reach the arms down towards our heels. And we'll prepare to lift the spine gently for a bridge pose. And as we do, we'll keep our gaze fixed on the ceiling rather than turning the head from side to side. So pressing into hands and feet very slowly, we'll start to peel the tailbone and our lowest vertebrae off the ground. We'll keep the tailbone tucked, finding a very low bridge pose here, creating a line from the hips all the way to the shoulders. An inhale and an exhale. One more breath in. With our exhale, we'll slowly Lower one vertebrae at a time. Back to the ground. A few breaths here, softening through the body. Breathing into the belly first, then the chest and upper back. We'll take one more round, pressing into hands and feet. Lift the tailbone first and keeping the pelvis tucked We'll slowly lift each vertebrae off the ground. Two breaths here while we're lifted. Pressing into hands and feet. And we'll use an exhale to lower one vertebrae at a time. Back to the ground. Softening here with a neutral spine. And carefully roll to one side. Curling knees to chest. We'll use our top arm, pressing into the ground, keeping the head hanging heavy. As we bring ourselves upright to seated. From here, we'll inhale tall. Exhale, relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, soften the face. We'll press down through our sits bones, the bottom two bones of our pelvis as we lift up from the sternum and the crown of the head. Relaxing our shoulders down the back. We'll engage muscles of the core, both front and back, to keep the spine nice and lifted. One more breath. And then we'll bring ourselves onto hands and knees.
with wrists under shoulders and knees under hips. We'll lengthen the spine, pressing back with the tailbone, reaching forward with the crown of the head. A full breath here to inflate the lungs. Exhale to release. Then inhale, we'll tip our tailbone back, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, tucking the spine, rounding the back and gazing up at the navel. Inhale, tailbone tips back, belly drops, chin lifts for cow pose. Exhale, we'll tuck the tailbone, round the back and gaze up at the navel for cat pose. Once more, we'll tip the tailbone back, drop the belly, lift the chin. And exhale, tuck the tail. Arch the back and gaze up at the navel. We'll bring ourselves back to tabletop. And we'll lower ourselves onto our bellies. We'll place our elbows underneath our shoulders. And rather than hunching forward, we'll press into the shoulders, lift the heart forward and up, drawing the shoulder blades together down the back. Fingers are spread wide. We make contact with the ground through the fingertips, the knuckles, the heels of the hand, the forearms, and the elbows. We'll take an inhale and an exhale. We might stay right here. And if it feels pleasant for the back, with an exhale, we can gaze over one shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, gazing over the opposite shoulder. Inhale to center, perhaps once more to each side. From here, we can lower the chest, then press to hands and knees. From here, we'll tuck our toes, press into hands and feet, lift the hips to find downward facing dog. We can have a bend in our knees, not worrying whether or not our heels reach the floor. We can Bend one knee and then the other, paddling the legs to stretch the calves and the hamstrings. For even more traction in the low back, we can step the feet wide, bend the knees deeply, lift the tailbone high, keeping pressure through the hands as we find this wide leg downward dog. We'll take two more breaths here. Another inhale. And an exhale. We'll step our feet hip distance apart and step them up to find a forward fold. We'll release the spine, we'll relax the neck and the jaw, letting the crown of the head hang heavy towards the ground. Here we can take hold of opposite elbows and sway gently side to side, still allowing that soft bend in the knees. We might shake the head yes, shake the head no, just to ensure that we're letting go We can also explore stepping the feet wider than the mat, taking a little deeper bend in the knees, taking hold of opposite elbows, and exploring a wide leg forward fold. Again, just a little bit more traction for the back. We can still sweep side to side, bending one knee and then the other, keeping our breath nice and steady. And 
once we're feeling complete, we can release the weight of our arms. Bring ourselves back down to hands and knees. We'll take our knees wide and the toes together as we send our hips over our heels for a wide leg variation of child's pose. We can keep our arms lengthened in front of us. We'll take two more breaths. And we'll walk our hands back towards us, dropping the tailbone heavy towards the ground as we bring ourselves upright. We're gonna make our way onto our bellies. Opening our arms out to a T. We can bend the left knee, place the left hand under the left shoulder. We'll lift the left thigh and start to take the left toes all the way over towards the right fingers. We can turn the head to place the right cheek on the mat, pausing as soon as we feel a nice stretch for the back. We can hold for two or three breaths. One more inhale. And an exhale. Bring yourselves back to neutral. Extending both arms. We'll lift the right foot, bending the right knee. Place the right hand under the right shoulder. We're gonna lift the right thigh off the mat and start to take the right toes over towards the left fingers. No need for them to make contact. Just pausing when we feel a nice stretch through the back. We can rest the left cheek on the mat and enjoy three slow breaths. One more inhale. And an exhale. And bring ourselves back to neutral. And slide hands under shoulders. We'll press our way up. And we'll reposition our mats for one final pose. So this is my favorite pose for alleviating low back pain. What I've done is moved the short end of my mat up against a wall and to enter this pose, I'm going to bring one hip up against the baseboards, use my hands for support as I rotate to bring my glutes up against the baseboard and my heels up against the wall. And this posture helps to create a nice stretch through the hamstrings while flattening the low back against the ground. It's called legs up the wall. You can stay here for three to five to 10 minutes, whatever is feeling comfortable for your body. Focusing on your breathing and relaxing into the ground. Once you're ready to exit the pose, now just the same way you came in. You can bend the knees, use the hands for support as we slide our legs down to one side. Thank you so much for following along. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Leave me a comment and let me know. Again, my name is Katrina Repman, and if you'd like to learn more about me and my practice, you can visit my website, katrinarepman.com. Please favorite this video, follow along anytime you're feeling achy or sore, and subscribe to Psyche Truth. We've got thousands of wellness videos to help you take control of your health and happiness. Thanks.